I'm Gary Thompson, and I am a co-owner of Stevie Ray's Blues Bar. I'm Anthony Gross, co-owner of Stevie Ray's Blues Bar. Stevie Ray's Blues Bar is a live music venue. We have live music six days a week, maybe soon to open up seven days a week. People come down, they generally have a good time. You know, the, uh, the original creator of this place, a guy named Fred Wooten, he wanted to create a bar in Louisville so he could feel like he's still in New Orleans. And this is what he created, and I think it's awesome. We do everything here. I mean, we just don't run the place. We clean, we jump in, whatever we got to do to make the business successful. For instance, not too long ago, some guy broke the door off the bathroom. This big old boy, he just knocked the door off its hinges. So I had a busy crowd. I got my drill and putting the door back up. We were closed down uh, for COVID uh, for 15 months. It, it was scary. We didn't know if we was going to be able to open back up. Things were tight. So how we heard about the small business development and how we came in contact with Rhonda, my business partner, Tony, saw something on the news. Rhonda Jones has been very instrumental. She literally handheld us and walked us through the majority of this, and for that, we're really grateful. It's better than what we could have ever imagined. And we just knew if we had an opportunity to get our doors open, you know, we thought we could at least come back to the level of where we were. And it, it's been, it's really, it's been fantastic. One of the favorite experiences that I have here is during the Kentucky Derby, we have a lot of out of town celebrities will come in to Stevie Ray's. First time he came in, I was sitting with my business partner up by the front door and uh, this police officer came in he goes I've got Kid Rock and Slash and I uh, want to come in here do you have any room for them to sit and I was like we'll make room. <laughs> All got up on our stage here during intermission and played for 45 minutes. They, they came in and had a ball. I'm like nobody's gonna believe this. 